Hello, it is Sunday, November 6, 2011, at 57 minutes past midnight. I want to talk to you about the earthquake that had just occurred in Oklahoma a couple hours ago. It was a, or at this time they're rating it as a 5.6, and it occurred at 3.53 GMT. If I hover over here, you can see there, were, there have been quite a few aftershocks today from the one that hap happened this early this morning. Um, right now I want to show you just some of the radar shots that I've got here while I can still access them. And you can see, just like the one earlier this morning, I did a video, you can see that these light up at the point of the earthquake. Let's go back. Okay, so this is before. And now at 3.56, these three are excited. And at 3.59, this one joins in. This is Oklahoma City. This is Tulsa. I think this is Vance Air Force Base, which, whichever one's up there. And I can't remember what this one is. But there's something interesting that I observed. And that's back here at 157 GMT, 201. Right here we've got a little beam coming out of this Doppler radar station. And before the one that happened this morning, I noticed there was a little beam coming out of Wichita. And I didn't say anything about it just because it seemed so innocent but I'm thinking maybe not because now we've got the same thing occurring right before this earthquake. And there's, it's still there at 211. It's still there at 221. I don't recall how long the one was up in Wichita this morning. So 253, it's still there. Oh, there it stopped. So you can see it right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. See right there? It's not real obvious, but it is there nonetheless. And so then, about an hour later, we have the earthquake. There it goes, and there's the next one kicks in. Can I go back one? Okay, and let me go ahead and let that loop play through a minute. I'll slow it down a little bit. Loop ending at 441, starting at 157. So let's take a look at the little farther out view. Actually, this is somewhat interesting because we have this land okane forming, like a, kind of like a hurricane over the land. It's a, a curly cue. I'm going to go ahead and let it play through. Alright, I'm going to talk about it here as it goes. I saw this forming earlier, and I actually did have the radar, but my computer crashed. I had too many things loaded, I think. And this was, wasn't was rotating until some blue area came from over in this direction. And I think there's Doppler right in here. And then once that blue came out, it was like a little quick harp ring, only it was, you know, like this blue color. And then once that went away, it didn't stay long, then, then this started to rotate. Um, and you can kind of see it's just starting here. Although it looks like there's a little bit of a tail. But also watch this little beam coming out of, it looks like that would be Dodge City, Kansas. See how where it's touching here, we get little things coming out. And then where it's touching here, I'm not quite sure what's happening. I'm going to go back a few. See that? And then right here, 
That was the earthquake. 359 down in here. So I'm going to go ahead and play it through and then I'll zoom in on that one area. You can see it kind of does a green thing first. See, it kind of blows the head off of this thing. It was all red hot. Let me zoom in. See right there? Okay, let's look at an even further out shot. The loops going through, and Oklahoma's right here. Oklahoma City's right here. And you can see they're right there. They went hot. And then right here's that little curly Q thing. And actually, there's a blue thing that shows up right here too. That kind of looks like it. Well, I don't know. Almost pushes it a little bit. Let's see. One thing that got my interest was that, see all of these have blue around them, but this one doesn't. This is Laughlin Air Force Base. So what I want to do is go look at the next RAD site. We'll go to Laughlin first. And it's red hot. I don't think I've ever seen one this hot. Um, there's hot you know, places where it'll flash hot, but not typically that hot. Let me slow the speed down a minute. It's got to load in. I'm going to put the speed back one more. You can see down here that pink is hotter than red. And there's these pink areas that come in. This one seems to be constant. But over here, there's a couple I know this seems unrelated, but somehow I think this fits into the picture. This loop's ending at 554 and starting at 153 GMT. Let's see where those hot pink things come in. There they go. So that was back at 153, 2 o'clock kind of the same time that that beam was coming out of um, that place just to the... let's go find out where that is so I don't have to talk in the dark right here Fred, Oklahoma that's where that beam was coming out right before the earthquake occurred so let's go ahead and play that through too while we're here There's that beam coming out. I'm going to go ahead and stop it and we can see where that, there's the beam. Right. Well, it actually, this start, loop starts at 216, so it's on when the loop starts. It's still on and then it disappears at 2.56 and the earthquake's at 3.53 and actually this gets excited which that shows up on the other ones too 4.04, 4.14, and now let's go look at Oklahoma City slow it down. It has to go through a couple times in order to load all the frames. There you see it went red. I'll stop it and we'll go through right there. That's at 353. And then that's at 403. 
and 413. It starts to diminish. I think that's all I have for the moment. I've got to check some more things out, and I've got some cloud things I'm looking at. So that's it for now. God bless you. I pray that all is everyone's safe in Oklahoma City. I haven't heard much yet about injuries, so um, we'll pray for them. Thank you. Good night.